And we're back with our special Women and Breast Cancer series. Today, I'm going to take you to a special place for breast cancer survivors. It is a program called Casting for Recovery, which held a weekend retreat on Long Island. I got to meet some incredible women, and as you'll see, we laughed, we cried, and yes, we fished. When you think of fly fishing, you tend to think of men in waders on the river. Try telling that to these women. They're part of a group called Casting for Recovery, a not-for-profit program offering no-cost fly fishing retreats for women who have or are recovering from breast cancer. Enjoying the outdoors, enjoying life, which is really what part of the recovery process is for breast cancer. I'm not a very nature person, so this was something which was going to be interesting. <laughs> you guys doing all right? With the guidance of volunteers and medical staff, I'm taught the basics of casting, oh, um, <laughs> not tying, oh, that's cute, and dressing the part. Come on, let's talk fashion. I also learn how fly fishing benefits breast cancer survivors. The dental motion of casting is very good for soft tissue stretching. After uh -huh. surgery or radiation, it could get very stiff. And share with my new friends. I mean, how often do you guys think about your cancer? I don't. Sometimes I have to remind myself That's that this what, is me. Yeah. This I is what's happening. I have the same thing that you really? have. It's weird because I felt almost guilty sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not thinking about it all yes. the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the past two years, I've been in denial. I'm hoping that this weekend, this retreat, has helped me, and then I'll talk about it more. All right, let's go fishing. Yeah. Oh, one, two. Yes. I know that's why we're here. Talene pairs me up with Len, an experienced river guide, and in no time, I am hooked. Oh, oh, oh. Now lift I got up. it. Lift straight up. I got it. Lift up. Ah. Woo! I got up. <laughs> It is a win-win day for all of us. <laughs> when I wrote in my journal when I was uh, going through everything, at the bottom of every page, no matter how bad the day was, I wrote the word forward. So I brought us all some forward rings. Oh, so you guys, wow. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is about more than fly fishing. It's just about women who have gone through a similar experience and you realize I'm still here. Like, that's awesome. And my thanks to Angela for producing that piece. It was a feel-good day and we thought we'd help out some of my new pals to feel a little better about themselves, so we wanted to give them some makeovers. We thought this would be fun. So we enlisted Today contributor and hair guru Louis Lacari and Emmy-winning makeup artist Eve Pearl, who also happens to be Meredith's makeup artist. A little home cooking here. And we've also dolled up the executive director of Casting for Recovery. We have Miss Celine with us. Hello, everybody. Good morning. So there are special needs uh, when you think about women and breast cancer. When it when we talk about makeovers for them, right, Lewis? Oh, absolutely. Number one, th th they're, uh, the fear of losing yeah. your hair, because that's like a badge saying, I am sick, and no one wants to wear that badge. Right. And, and also for makeup, too, Eve, th there are special needs, right? Absolutely. Women lose also their eyelashes and eyebrows. Uh -huh. uh, the skin gets really dry and flaky, and the dark circles come out even more. Uh -huh. So you want to get take care of their sensitive skin. Look at Celine without her hip waders on. I just want to tell you, I hardly, I was like, who is this woman yeah, who, like, who was here? This is, a, this is a great, great program for women, isn't it, Celine? Oh, it's wonderful. We have programs in 27 states um, and across the country and in Europe. And the, the, what breaks our heart is that two thirds of the women we are we have to put on the waiting list. It's the it's tranquility popular. of fly fishing. Right. I mean, I, I've done it a few times. It's wonderful. You get out there and you completely it's clear great. your head. Right. It just it totally calms you down and, and chills you out. But let's take a look at some of these. Well, I'm dying to see the the uh, makeovers we have. So our first before is Christina Galisa. She's so she's so sweet, by the way. Sweet. This is her before picture. All right, Christina, come on, let's see let's see what we've done here. The new you. Oh, look how pretty she looks. Oh, I love it. Louis, okay, what did you do with no. the hair? Christina is wearing a piece. It's a synthetic piece, so that's very limiting. You cannot use heat. But what Jennifer Lawrence did here, she opened up her bangs a little bit. Uh -huh. Just to open up her face and gave a little bit of movement by putting her hair in pink curls and spray. Love it. And what about the makeup, Eve? Well, Christina actually lost her eyebrows and eyelashes, and that's why she wears a bang over her brows. But we were able to fill them in, and Lauren Lazaro and I, we uh, kind of finished up. And Christina, uh, you like? I you look it. good, girl. You look so good. Awesome. And without your baseball cap and all your fishing gear. The whole thing, Come yeah. on, the whole thing. Is <laughs> all right. Margaret Thank Fraser. You, Where's Margaret Fraser? Let's take the before picture. 
Let's see your. Oh, wait, Margaret, hold it. Yeah, it's okay. Come on out. Okay, there's the before. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, this is Margaret now. Let's. Okay. Ooh, I, Margaret. I'd like to say, Margaret, you look beautiful before, and the after is fantastic. Is Lewis, tell us about the hair. A beautiful girl made more beautiful. And the great thing about, you know, when you can have, start to have fun with it, you can change your pieces. Obviously, just a short piece in the beginning, a longer piece in the end. And again, Jennifer just made it fluffy. The tip here is less is more. Don't make your pieces Not look too, too thick. Now, Eve, the makeup, too. Tell us well, about that. Well, she's using a, a sensitive skin, high definition cream foundation. And Tracy had and I made sure that it. It was uh, taking care of her skin and also giving her natural sun protection. Margaret, you look adorable. Do you like it? Love it. You love it. I know you do. I love <laughs> Margaret a lot. All right, let's sure. let's take a before shot of Rosa Koala. This is Rosa before we sat on, we were sitting on the bench together. She had the baseball cap on. Come on out, Rosa. Let's see the new made over, made over Rosa. Yay! Oh, Rosa. Oh, beautiful. Now, your is, is that a, a that Rose? This is Rosa's hair has come back, uh -huh. but Rosa's hair came back so thick, so dark, it looked a little bit like a hat on her head. So what I Love did is it. I lightened it, softened it. Again, Jennifer just gave her a hairstyle. Look at her today. And makeup. And she's got seven under eye concealer, seven concealer on, and look how beautiful she gorgeous. is. With that beautiful, gorgeous. Ladies, smile. come on out. Everybody, come out. I need to, I need to get my hugs for my girls real quick. Oh, that is great. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so glad to see you guys. You guys look terrific. Awesome. This is a great program. So if you if you're ever thinking you. about uh, doing it, sign up. Casting for recovery. Wonderful. All right, and big thanks to Lewis and to Eve too you for, for everything you guys thank do. You. All right, you. and you can go on our website for more info. Todayshow.com. And we will be right back Good with job, more ladies. today on NBC. So